<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? I have a puppy at my feet. So if you suddenly hear any like rustling around, that is because Gordon is right here. He, he just wants a cuddle. He wants a cuddle, bless him. Anyway, I'm back again because today I thought I would do a little bit of a vintage haul, basically things that are vintage that I found. Oh, bye. Um, <laughs> he's over his cuddle. Um, basically things that I found in my attic which are vintage. Um, I used to buy a lot of vintage. I still do, but I used to buy a lot, lot of vintage. Like loads of vintage. And um, then we moved house and we bought this place. And basically for like five years, everything I owned. Gordon, don't squeak the ball. <laughs> of course you've gone to get a squeaky ball. Um, anyway, we packed up everything we owned, put it in boxes, put it in the loft. Five years later, I'm starting to rummage through those boxes and I'm finding some cool vintage stuff. So this is my vintage haul from my loft. So yeah, I hope, I hope it's felt. I think I found some really fun things. I know that like, I think some people liked my last vintage haul video. So I'm hoping this one will make people happy too. So yeah, I'm just gonna dive in and show you what I've got. So um, where shall I start? I think I'm gonna start with this. It's so good. If you are of a certain age, you will remember this. The iconic Smarties mug. I think it's so cute. There's something about that shade of brown with the red, I don't know. There's just something about it. I think these came free with like the um like the easter eggs i think they had an easter egg in and then inside the egg there was some actual smarties i feel like everybody of a certain generation had one of these um and i have one in my possession so yeah that's the first thing i wanted to show you and i i love it so much like it's just so cute and nostalgic but that is my first thing hello gordon I think there's gonna be a lot of Gordon roaming around in this video. Um, okay, next thing. I bought these about, God, probably about 10 years ago now. I actually bought them from a Paul Smith shop. It was really weird. There was a Paul Smith shop. They had an area of like vintage stuff. And I found these and I was like, these are special. They are, hello, Gordon, shush. Come on, you're being very noisy and rustly. Sorry. These are vintage 1970s Poochie sunglasses. Like, I'm sorry, but these are kind of amazing. They are enormous, obviously. And yeah, they are Poochie print, and you can see my ring light, so I hope that's not too distracting. But they are absolutely enormous. They're very cool. I think they're amazing. I didn't even pay like a huge amount for them, but they definitely weren't like a pound, but they weren't like, as ridiculously expensive as I feel like they should be but I just think they're so I think they're so cool and I should probably wear them like they're so big that like literally they come down to like my cheeks <laughs> like I don't even think they suit me they're so huge but I think they're really cool maybe they're meant to go lower on my nose like this I don't know I don't even know how they're meant to look Gordon are you moving I think he's moving my tripod okay so this is the next thing Vintage Pucci glasses, absolutely massive, 1970s. I just think they're amazing. They're one of my favorite vintage things and I totally forgot I even own them. <laughs> There's some irony there. Okay, next thing. Um, the next thing I've got is this vintage dress. I used to be really into like what I can only describe as like, kind of somewhere between Victorian child dresses and, um kind of funeral vintage dresses. And this is somewhere between the two. It doesn't even fit me anymore because it's, I was much thinner back then, but it has like lace collar. It's got quite big sleeves um, with like ribbon and they're just like big fled sleeves. I think it's like a 1970s kind of dress. It's made by, I don't even know who, but it's a very old label and it's just a really, cute little kind of black shift dress with like nice big bell sleeves and lots of white lace and um yeah you can tell it's old because it's got metal zip as well but it's very cute um i yeah i wish i still fit into it i would totally still wear that but i thought it was really 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 sweet 
and I don't even know where I got it. I don't know when I got it. I just know I got it a really long time ago and then put it in the loft. So the next item I have is a vintage My Little Pony bag. I actually had a different one in my last Attic Finds vintage haul video. And then I found I had another My Little Pony bag. I think this is a more recent one than the last one. Um, it's kind of like a big satchel. Oh, this is from 1993. The last one was from like 1983 or something. Um, it's a little bit beaten up. It's a little bit squashed. But it's still very, 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 very cute. Um, I was really into like My Little Pony merchandise, it would seem. But yeah, I think I had the lunchbox when I was growing up too. But I think this is absolutely adorable, pretty mucky, <laughs> pretty beaten up, but just so cute. The next thing I found is, I think I might need to wear this. Like, I think it's really cool. It's by Versace, um, and it's a seashell print top. It's like a little polo neck. It's seashell print, it's Versace, and it's kind of cool. Like, I think it's kind of cool. I don't even know if it's for men or women. I definitely remember wearing it, but yeah, that's, <laughs> I don't know where I got this from either. I think I bought it vintage rather than new. I feel like I remember wearing it, but I don't really know when or where, maybe with a pinafore. I don't even remember, but I just remember being like, it's vintage Versace and it's got seashells on. And also what an odd combination to do black and red seashell theme. Like that's such an odd colorway. Like you'd think it'd be white and blue, not black and red, but you know, it's cute and um, it's a really fun print. So that is something that I found that I thought was quite fun and interesting. Oh, I used to love this jumper. I used to wear this all the time. It was really cute. It's bright blue, which I was really into at the time. I was really into a really royal blue. I was very into collars and it had like this kind of like lace collar and then it had these kind of like roses on and then it had beading as well because you know there just wasn't enough going on oh and then it has puffed sleeves with more roses so i was i just don't think there was enough going on with this jumper for me you know the beading the roses the collar the puffiness i mean it's just all going on but i thought it was so cute i used to wear this a lot i think with like vintage dresses it's still got some of my old hairs on but this was a jumper that i absolutely loved I was really into vintage knitwear and also like so much of it was like acrylic that it just doesn't age like it doesn't age like wool ages acrylic artificial wool just goes on forever I think this is literally like 1970s as well it's crazy I've got so much vintage knit um okay next item oh this was like my favorite bag in the whole entire world look at this it is a capri's cream egg egg shaped bag it's made of that kind of like pvc tablecloth fabric and it is literally a cream egg bag i thought it was like the best thing i owned on one side it was red and green the other side it's blue and green um i don't even know where i bought it um i don't even know i think i might have bought it on ebay and it took me a really long time to find it. And I found one and I was like, I'm going to bid, I'm going to watch. And then this girl who was selling it, suddenly it just disappeared. And I messaged and I was like, what happened to the bag? And then she replied and I vividly remember. She said, I realized I could never get rid of that bag. I would rather get rid of my own brother than get rid of that bag. And I think I replied saying, I understand. And then I think a few months later, I found another one. Gordon, shush. And then I found another one and I snapped it up and I still have it and it is so fun. Cream egg shaped cream egg bag. And I usually, well, I used to get it out every Easter, but I haven't done since we moved, I don't think, because, well, it's been in storage. But yeah, isn't it, isn't it fun? Oh, I swear I could make like a vintage kitsch museum if I wanted to. I have so much, I have so much kitsch that nobody needs and probably nobody needs to see. Anyway, anyway, next thing. Okay, so the next thing is a ring slash trinket box. It's Victoria Plum. I think I got it from a car boot sale like a million years ago. I think it's so cute, it's so charming. It's a Victoria Plum trinket box, um, made in Hong Kong. Fun fact, when I was a child, I was desperate to go to Hong Kong. 
um, because that's where all my toys were from and I just imagined it to be like a mecca for toys because <laughs> like all toys said like made in Hong Kong and I was like I need to get to this Hong Kong place that's where all the good toys are. <laughs> so um, yeah, anyway, Victoria Plum, trinket box, little ring holder. I've got some jewelry on the inside, so I'm gonna move it, but there's like a ring section here, and then it says VP here, which is very, very, very cute. And yeah, I've had it for a really long time, and um, yeah, I have actually stored my jewelry in it from time to time, but obviously not for a while. So yeah, it's so cute, it's so cute. Next thing I've got is a pencil case. I was really into merchandise. There's a lot of merchandise in this one. So this is a pencil case from sh -sh 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 people. Do you remember? Um, there was like a PC plod. There was like a hippie one with lots of flowers. Um, this one I think was meant to be a scarecrow. This guy was like a clown. And it says um, James Driscoll, 1986. Product of more than one country. Hmm. But it's a shoe people pencil case and it's shaped like a shoe incredibly impractical i will say that because you have to like poke your pencils in and then they're hard to get out and then if you put a rubber in kind of goes to the end it's not the best shape for a pencil case but it's really 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 cute so that's my next thing and then um i have this again i don't know where it came from it's classic 80s because it features twins Twins were big in the 80s. I think, I feel like twins were like a big motif, like twins, twins of the theme. Like, you know, we had the moustache theme, we had like cactuses, like, I don't know, but things were in themes. And in the 80s, we were like all about twin themes. Anyway, this, this features two very airbrushed slash illustrative pictures of a pair of twins with big bear bows and very cool 80s graphics. Um, if anybody wants to like make me one of these twins and put me in this 80s graphic style, that would literally be my dream. And then on the other side it says, um, fitness. I don't know what, can you see here it just says like fitness. I don't know why. I don't think I ever use this bag. It looks pretty clean on the inside. Um, I don't know where I got it from. I think I got it from like a car boot sale or something. I just, I mean, you can't leave that there, do you know what I mean? You see a twin themed handbag, you have to buy it. Well, I had to buy it, so that's my next thing. <laughs> and then I found this, and I completely forgot I had this. It's stored in a little baggie, which I'm actually quite good. I usually store like quite good jewelry in little baggies because it keeps like the jewelry looking really good. But this is a little bow shaped brooch and it's by Dior, and I vaguely remember buying this from a car boot sale, and being like, oh, I'm gonna buy this, it's Dior. And yeah, I can't, I can't believe it, I still have it, I completely forgot I bought it. It kind of really jogged a memory when I found it. It's got Dior stamped on the back. I'm pretty sure it's authentic. Um, yeah, I found it at a car boot sale, like literally pound fifty. is that not like the best designer bargain of my entire life? Because I think it is. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that because that was something that I found in my vintage finds. Next item is, da da da, so cute. It's, um, it's a bag and I think this was kind of like a gym bag back in the day. It says my bag, my bear on it and it's like a little bear and it almost looks like a Care Bears but I don't think it's a Care Bears. I don't know where it's from. I think it was like a P kit bag, gray and pink, such iconic colors of like the 80s slash 90s. Um, is this ringing any bells for anybody else? Cause I really feel like I remember this, but not just from me. <laughs> like I remember it from like, I don't know, like market stores or something. Um, it's quite well worn. The bear is obviously quite rubbed off, but it's still really cute. And I thought you might like to see it. And yeah, that's kind of it. That is what I found in my loft, edition 2.0. Um, yeah, last time I actually had a lot more clothing. This time I've got more stuff and like merchandise. Like I've got my Smarties mug. I've got my Poochie sunglasses. I've got my Shoe People pencil case, my Cadbury's cream egg bag. I've got my Victoria Plum trinket box. I've got a lot of merch in here, a lot of like 
80s, 90s merch. If I was having a merch table, that would be the theme. Not a band, it would be a nostalgia merch. It's like a nostalgia merch over here. Anyway, um, yeah, that's everything. I mean, yeah, it's very merch themed. I was obviously very into merch. <laughs> Anyway, that is my video. They are some vintage things I found in my loft. I think they're super fun and super cute. And I thought you might like to see, um, maybe not, who knows, who knows. Let me know if anything rings any bells for you. I dropped my sunglasses. I think they're okay, we're fine. God, I drop everything. I thought this would be the thing I would drop. I thought this would be the thing that I dropped and broke, but alas. No. <laughs> anyway, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if anything rings any bells. I would love to hear if any of these nostalgic things of mine are nostalgic things that you had to. Um, so yeah, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want another video of Attic Finds and I will make one for you. That's my video. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>